How to galvanize steel. Galvanizing steel coats it with a layer of zinc to protect it from corrosion. Zinc was first used in construction around the time of the destruction of Pompeii, but it was first used to galvanize steel actually iron in 1742 and the process patented in 1837. Galvanized steel is used in making sheet metal flashing, gutters, and downspouts, as well as for exterior nails. There are several processes that can be used to galvanize steel, hot dip galvanizing, electrogalvanizing, sheridizing, and metallic spraying. Hot dip galvanizing. Clean away the surface contaminants. Before any other steps can be taken, the steel surface must be cleaned thoroughly. How this is done depends on what has to be cleaned away. Dirt, grease, oil, or paint markings require the use of a mild acid, a hot alkali, or a biological cleaning agent. Asphalt, epoxy, vinyl, or the slag from welding need to be cleaned by sandblasting or with other abrasives. Pickle away the rust. Pickling is done with hydrochloric acid or hot sulfuric acid. It removes both rust and mill scale. In some cases, abrasive cleaning may be enough to remove the rust, or it may be necessary to use both a pickling solution and abrasives. In some cases, larger abrasives such as buckshot are air blasted onto the steel. Put the metal in flux. In this case, flux is a solution of zinc ammonium chloride that removes any remaining rust and scale and protects the steel from rusting until it is actually galvanized. Immerse the steel in molten zinc. The bath of molten zinc should be at least 98% zinc and maintained at a temperature range of 815 to 850 degrees Fahrenheit 435 to 455 degrees C. While the steel is immersed in the zinc bath, its iron reacts with the zinc to form a series of alloy layers and an outer layer of pure zinc. Take the galvanized steel out of the zinc bath slowly. Most of the excess zinc will drain off, what doesn't drain off can be vibrated off or spun off in a centrifuge. Cool the galvanized steel. Cooling the metal stops the galvanization reaction, which continues as long as the steel is the same temperature it was while immersed in the zinc bath. Cooling can be done in one of several ways. Immerse the steel in a passivation solution such as potassium hydroxide. Immerse the steel in water. Let the steel cool in the open air. Immerse the steel in a passivation solution such as potassium hydroxide. Immerse the steel in water. Let the steel cool in the open air. Inspect the galvanized steel. Once the galvanized steel is cooled, check it to make sure the zinc coating looks good, sticks to the steel, and is thick enough. There are a number of tests that can be performed to ensure the galvanization was successful. Standards for hot dip galvanizing and inspecting its results have been established by such organizations as the American Society for Testing and Materials now called ASTM International, the International Standards Organization ISO, the Canadian Standards Association CSA, and the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials AASHTO.